Hello, good afternoon. This is Sam from Physio Central and this is a level two late beginners early intermediate Pilates class dedicated to all those patients who usually join our classes mainly on Tuesday and Thursdays. Hope you're all well. Um, so in this class we're going to do a lot of upper um, thoracic stretches since we're all kind of sitting a little bit more than usual. So we're going to do lots of lovely stretches over there um, and then as usual engaging our core. Um, I'm going to be using a TheraBand because we'll be doing one of your favourite exercises that I know that you usually like in class. Um, don't worry too much if you don't have a TheraBand at home. You can maybe use a towel, um, a, like a large towel to pull, or just do the exercise with TheraBand, without the TheraBand. It doesn't really matter that much. Alright, so we're starting in a sitting position. So I'm sitting in this cross leg position. If this is not comfortable for you, feel free to sit with your legs wide or even feel free to do this first bit on a chair. It doesn't really matter, okay? It's just a nice little warm up and sitting. Um, so make sure you're in your most comfortable position. All right, so take a moment to sit up nice and tall. Shoulders down, hands in line with your shoulders. We're going to breathe in to prepare. Breathe out with both hands up, stretch and lower. Breathe and lift, and lower. And again, breathe and lift, and lower. And again, four, lower. One more, lift, and lower. Bring your elbows by your side, hands together. We're going to turn the palms facing up towards the ceiling. Feel that your chest is lifted from here. Shoulder blades are down, we're breathing out as we open. And this should start creating a little bit of a stretch between your shoulder blades, okay? Open as you breathe out, nice and gentle. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and release. We're going to lift shoulders up, take them back, down. Shoulders up, back, down. Three, four, five, and five more. Five, four, three, two, one and release. Elbows in your side as well. We're going to repeat the exercise we've done before. So opening the palms in this position and then we stretch out, bring them back in and in. So working with your breathing, open your arms out, stretch, really work your shoulder blades. Three, four, five, and five, four, three, two, one, hold, drop the wrist down, it gives you a really nice stretch along the nerve there, and release, bring one hand along the side of your head, take that head down, breathe out as you stretch. And change sides, so head, hand on the opposite side of the head, bring the elbow down towards your shoulder, give it a, a really nice stretch and pull, and release. Okay, we're going to have both hands by our side here. If you're sitting on a chair, your hands will be just on the side or maybe holding the edge of the chair. And we're going sideways as you breathe out and changing. And changing, stretch the side, breathing in and out. Three. Four and five and five more. I can really feel that in the waist and the lower back starting to stretch. Really nice movement. Four, three, two. 
two, one, and release. Stretch your leg forward. If you're on the floor, you can do this, bend the opposite knee. If you're on a chair, you can stretch it in front of you. I am going to use a terabend since I have one, so if you have one, you can use a terabend to really add that stretch with your hamstring and then pull the bend towards you and lean forward. So the stretch is at the back of the thigh here, back of the knee. Good. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Again, use a terabend if you have one. Don't worry too much if you don't have one today. And pull yourself closer until you feel a pull at the back of your thigh. And release. Good work. Oh. So we're going to go back into a comfortable sitting position. If you're on your chair, you can still stay on your chair. And this time we're going back to the sideways movements. So one hand is on the floor here and the opposite hand is reaching up towards the sky and sideways. And then I'm going to add a twist and a rotation. So I'm bringing my hand down towards the mat and then coming over to the other side and return. You can do still this exercise if you're in sitting. Of course, you're not touching the floor. So we're going sideways, twisting, rotating, and slide all the way back and repeat. So breathing out as you stretch sideways, finger walk along the floor as we do a half a circle or a semicircle along the floor and let's do one more on this side so we're going sideways stretch and release and let's change sides so i have one hand on the mat here and the other hand goes up towards the ceiling sideways and from there we add this twist and again draw the semicircle until you come back to the same side so we stretch breathe out and reach Breathe out and reach. Two more, nice and slowly. Breathe out and reach. And again, breathe out and reach. Both hands up, turn the palms facing up, stretch and release. Good work. So hopefully that makes you feel a little bit warmed up. So I'm going to change my position so you can see you are still in sitting and making sure that you're sitting on your sitting bumps. Okay, knees bent, feet on the floor. So we're going to start waking up our tummy. So starting from this nice sitting position, nice and tall, we're going to start curling the lower back down and curling the spine, hands on the knees or on the shins to start off with. And return as you breathe. And let's repeat breathing out, curl and spine back. And release. And again, three. And lift. And curl down, four. And lift. And repeat five and lift five more curl and lift four and lift three more nice and slow feel that that lower back is working but of course your abs are on and lift Two, good, and one more, and release, okay. We're going to make it a little bit more challenging. So I'm going to lean back just a little bit for the next exercise, but not too much, okay? And you can start with your hands by your side, and that gives you a little bit more support. And you're going to lift one leg up. So the knee is high, make sure you're not doing that. The knee is high and lower and change. 
tiptoeing up and down. So you need to be leaning back enough to feel that your core is on and working. So your tummy is doing something to keep your balance. Five. And five. Four. Three. Two. One. And release. And let's repeat. Curl the spine again. And this time I'm going to go a little bit further. And again, make sure that my hands are behind me. My core is on as I lift and marching up and down. Okay? Two. Three. Try and bring your knees in line with your hips. So towards your chest. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release. Good. So hopefully that starts waking up your core. And the next one, we're going to make it even more challenging. So this time, hands underneath your knees, okay, or underneath the lower bit of your thighs. Lean back just a little bit. We're going to lift one leg up. So now we've gotten rid of our arm support. And if you can, lift the other leg up. If that is too challenging, you stay on one leg. So it's up to you. I'm going to do it with both legs. Choose your level. So it's either one leg up or two legs up. And we're holding. Five, four, three, two, one. And again, curl that spine, lift one leg up. You might want to stay here, or you might want to have the other leg on tiptoe. That's also a nice variation. Or both legs up for five, four, three, two, one. And repeat, curl the spine, lift, choose your level, five, four, three, two, one. Two more, curl, lift, one leg up, or both, five, four, three, two, one. And again, one more, curl, back, lift, and lift, and five, four, three, two, one, and release. Well done, good work. All right, I'm going to use the terabyte again. You can choose not to, but I know that some of you love this exercise. So we're going to start with the terabend behind the sole of one foot. So now we have both feet stretched in front of us. And I have the terabend on the right foot, and I am holding it with the right hand. Okay? So from this starting position, we're going to lean slightly back. Remember, you can do this without the terabend. It's not a problem whatsoever. So again, we get that slight curve in the lower back. And this left hand is going to open to the left as I look back, looking towards it. So that's giving me a really nice stretch in the upper back as I breathe out. When you breathe in, this left hand comes forward as you sit up. And if you can, reach over to your toes or your shin, whatever your flexibility allows. All right, so let's repeat. So we're leaning slightly back, breathing out as you open and stretch. And as you breathe in, come and reach over. And repeat. So this is a really nice twist for your upper body. But it also challenges your core, so you can feel it when you lean back. Your tummy muscles have to work. And repeat. And I know that the Thursday 6.30 class loved this exercise. It was one of the favorites. And again, five. Good. Four. Three. Two. One, and release. We're going to change some. So I'll show you without the TeraBand, just for the sake of those who don't have a TeraBand. So we're leaning back, opening the right, stretching. Right hand comes across and over to your left foot. 
So this is the exercise without the terabands. If you have terabands, you're going to place it up behind your left foot, hold it with your left hand, and do the same. So we're twisting to the right, feel that stretch, breathe in, lean forward. So we're doing a multiple tick. So we're stretching the upper back, we're also stretching our hamstrings, and also engaging our core. So great exercise, targeting a lot of different areas. Four. And lean forward. Five. Good. Let's do five more nice and slow. Don't rush. Feel the twist. And release. Four. Three. Two. And one. And release. Good. Well done. All right. If you have the terabands, you're going to now place it behind both feet. Okay. And we're going to start leaning back. So this is a roll back exercise. Again, we've done this in class. So you need to hold the teraband nice and tight over here with both hands as we curl the spine as we've been doing. Okay. And if you can, you're going to roll all the way back down. And then you're going to use the teraband to help you come back up. Okay. So without the teraband, it's a little bit hard. So if you don't have the teraband, I would like you to just go as far back as you can manage. That is my limit. And then return. So without the teraband, that's what this exercise looks like. So you're curling back. And returning. So I'll do a few without, just for the sake of those who are doing this without the terabyte today. Three. Four. Five. I'll finish the exercise with the terabyte for those of you who do have a terabyte at home. And five, four, so it's a little bit easier with the terabyte because the terabyte is there supporting me to come back up. Three, two, and one more, last one. And uh, good. Oh, that is such a lovely stretch on your lower back. Hope you enjoyed it. Okay, so for a fun exercise, which I know you absolutely love, and if it's your first time watching the class, then I, I ask you to look first, and it looks difficult, but it isn't. All right, so we've done a lot of sitting and curling back already. So what I want you to do is place your hands at the back, again, similar to what we did um, a few minutes ago, and we're leaning on our elbows, bringing the elbows up, and then push on your hands. Okay, so let's do that together. So we're curling the spine again, lean down on your elbows, bring your feet up, and then push on your hands. So you're going to feel that this is working, all right? So let's do a few of these, curling back, and push. And repeat, curling back, feet up, Push on your hands. Four more, nice and slowly. Four. Three. Two. And one. If that is already challenging, then I'm going to ask you to do the same exercise for a few more repetitions. For the rest of us, we're now placing our hands at the front of the shin. Make sure you are sitting on your sitting bones. And we're going to roll like a ball. So you go back and up. Back and up. And repeat. The trick here is the momentum, okay? And also don't think too much about it. It's a lovely, Really nice exercise for your lower back.
By Pilates standards, this is a level one exercise. So don't worry too much if it's hard or difficult. It's until you get the hang of it. And once you do, please enjoy it. Off you go, it's lovely. Two more. And release, great. Hope you enjoyed that. All right, and let's go down on the mat. Okay, so start in this position and let's start with a lovely bridging exercise. So knees bent, feet on the floor, hands by your sides. Flatten your spine, bring the hips up and lift. And slowly lower down. So this will give you a chance to catch your breath again after our previous exercises. And again, it's really nice to know a lower back to mobilize it in this way. So this is the bridging. Lifting the hips up as we roll the vertebra one by one. And then slowly placing those vertebra again on the mat. So really focus that you're working the whole spine as you lift and as you lower. Remember to breathe and also make sure there's no tension in the shoulder or neck region. And two more, nice and slow. And release, good work, all right. Okay, so we're going to train our obliques now. So that's the muscles at the side of our waist. I'm going to place my hands behind my head, elbows open. For some of you, they might feel a bit more comfortable with their hands across the shoulder. So it's really up to you. We're going to breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, lift the head off the floor. From there, we're going to do a single leg tabletop. So there's the right leg up. Knee in line with the hips. As you breathe out, you bring left elbow towards right knee and lower. The leg stays up. So we breathe out, lift, twist, and slowly roll down. And let's repeat. And low. Four. And low. Five. And low and reach and lower four three two one and change so single table top on the left left knee in line with the right with the left hip sorry lift the head off the floor right elbow towards the left knee and lower and repeat four five six seven eight Nine, ten, and release. Hands down by your sides. All right, let's go back into a single tabletop, right leg, knee in line with the hip. We're going to lift the head off the floor again, reach with that right leg, lift both hands up, hold that position. Five, four, three, two, one, return. So we're repeating, right leg, right leg tabletop. Bring both hands up, shoulder level. Breathe out, lift the head off the floor. Reach the leg away and hold. And lower. Three more. Both hands facing each other, shoulder level. Right leg in tabletop, that's the starting position. 
Breathe up, lift the head off the floor, reach away with the right leg, hold for five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Two more. One more on this side. And change. So left leg and tabletop. Left knee in line with the left hip. Breathe out. Stretch. And lower. Breathe out. Stretch. And lower. Two more. One more. And release. Good. All right. So, bringing that right leg up into tabletop again. And then bring the left leg up into tabletop. So, both knees are in line with the hips. Knees apart. Keep an eye on your lower back. Make sure that you're still in neutral spine, so there's no movement there. We're going to keep the head down for the next exercise as we tiptoe one leg down and then alternate. So one leg goes down as the other leg goes up. And repeat. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's do that again. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm doing another set if you can go for it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release. Well, now stretch your right leg away, bring that left knee across. Feel the stretch in your lower back and left bum. Stretch the left hand away and look over your left shoulder. And just change. That's a nice stretch. So the right knee across the body as I turn over and look over my right shoulder. And that gives me a really nice stretch in the right lower back. Good, and release. I'm going to turn over on the right side, palms on top of each other, top knee on the floor. As I breathe out, I'm going to bring that left hand over and across over to the other side of the floor. Keep looking towards it, feel that nice stretch now more in your middle back and return as you breathe in. So let's repeat breathing out, stretch. And breathe in as we return. Three, and close. Four, and close. And one more. This is a lovely stretch if you spend a lot of time sitting down or doing computer work. Let's do the other side. I'll change sides like this so you can see me. So lying on your side, top knee on the floor. Palms on top of each other. So we've done the arm opening, which is this, okay? I'm going to show you an alternative, okay? So what you can do from here is in what we call an arm circle. So you can go round and round, touching the floor again, drawing that semicircle on the floor before you bring the palms together. So it's up to you. You can choose to do the arm circle or the arm opening, whatever feels easier or better today. Remember, we have different flexibilities, different days. So listen to your body and what your body needs today. And release. And this is a lovely stretch again for you, for those of you who tend to suffer from neck and shoulder problems. This is a really nice one. And one more. And close. Good. Okay. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed the rolling like a ball. Um, and see you next week. Take care. Stay safe.